going to work with the Oka, but also with the other collection, to create really pieces that can immediately be recognized as the strong Jura Prego pieces. Today, what we need, we need a really strong identity. We need the people to see a watch and say, this is a GP. In the, in the past, the evolution of the brand has brought it to a very large collection, a lot of SKUs and a lot of references, beautiful watches, each one, but all different. It was very difficult for anybody, even in the trade, to really uh, recall the brand looking at the product. Now we have developed it is a lifestyle collection, sport collection if you want. A new one is also coming very soon and next year uh, called the Traveler. And all these new collections, they will have a strong identity from a design point of view, plus of course a Jurapelgo movement. And all of these should give a much more focus and much more recognizability for the brand for, and for the consumer. But I think there are uh, reasons to buy any one of the brands that you have uh, mentioned. Buy a Jean-Bergo, maybe you buy it because uh, first uh, you know the quality of the watches, you know the history of the watches, uh, you, we are talking about a brand uh, which is there in the market since 220 years without any interruption. Maybe you buy it because uh, you like the aesthetic, uh, we, we are uh, I think quite a very uh, strong identity, just the fact that the crown is in a different position, the look of the watch overall is different and um, at the end of the day is a very also aesthetic decision combined with the fact that you know you buy something in there which has a rich history. Honestly we are quite confident in this line. We're confident for a different reason. The first one is that uh, is a, again, it's a larger size uh, um, collection, uh, which is very uh, appealing, we hope, but we believe also to a uh, Western market like Americas, North and South, Middle East. And uh, it's also a collection which is, um, in, uh, I would say, in its uh, DNA has already the elements to be developed further in the future. So we believe that uh, we can really do some volume with uh, both the chronograph and the diver and uh, it can be really a worldwide uh, um, expansion. Now, to call it a success, let's, let's wait that we come uh, out in the market, but at least we are confident, we are quite, uh, quite positive. Okay, we look back in the history, the Diver Watch by Gerard Pego has been always there and that was always uh, kind of a design piece uh, in, in the industry. On the price point, we wanted this new collection, Chrono and Diver, to be not in gold for different reasons, because we wanted to introduce also a collection of different materials. We, we are starting with steel, which is nothing new of course, but we are going to come with ceramic, we are going to come with other materials. And uh, we also decided to, uh, to have a price positioning very aggressive. We are very competitive also compared to the, to the, the other brands that are many more other brands that you have mentioned. We, again, we believe in this product. We believe that we can also target uh, probably clients that today are not a GP uh, consumer. Um, and we think that we have something uh, valuable. The Laureato has been introduced in 75. So now we are in 2012. I think that uh, it's also acceptable that uh, he goes up to have some rest, <laughs> in a sense, to give, uh, to give room for uh, some more uh, modern pieces and a new, new design. The Laureato has been an incredible success story, has been uh, one of the very first uh, uh, different design with the octagonal shape and so on. Been inside the history of Jean Pergo, it will always be. Uh, but I think it's also some time you needed to take the decision to say, okay, now we, we needed to do something different. The alternative to that was to take the Laureato and make a restyling. I don't think that it was making any good for the Laureato. There are pieces, talking watches, but it could be cars or it could be any other things, which are part of the history of the design. You cannot touch them. And the Laureato, I think, is one of these pieces. You cannot take the Laureato as it was and then try to make something different because you needed to refresh it. It's better to say, you know what, okay, this is his story, now we go to uh, another, another, another story. Yeah.